king of triv. Here to astound and amaze and to give away lots of dosh, Ooh. it's the simply stunning Mr. Danny Baker. Thank you. <laughs> Normally, I uh, rattle on here for about six or seven minutes, but I learned the hard way when Donny Osmond was in, not that there's any comparison, uh, <laughs> that nobody's here to see me. No, when I did the Donny Osmond one, I, very quickly, I, I did this spot, and I usually do, you know, talk up what I'm doing later on, a few jokes and all of that. And I did all of that, and I was aware that everyone was giving me hard looks. They weren't here to see me. And as I left, a woman sitting just there, just so I could hear it, as I walked off, she went, well, thank God for that. <laughs> so I'll stay out of the road today. I just want to annoy most of the uh, Cliff fans here <laughs> even further by saying, I collect vi old vinyl records. A year ago, in a junk shop in Lewisham, there was the copy of Summer Holiday that was only given to the cast and the crew, laying there for one pound with all the... Oh, the bid starts at one grand, all right? The bid starts at one grand. Good morning, everyone. Yes, uh, it's uh, just for this week only. We're giving away £3,000 of every programme. Three times I'm going to pop up and give away a grand. Good now, I said, let's not do it like the other shows do it. You know, ask you a question like, um, what big wooden thing with a handle on it do you use to get in and out of a room? Is it A, a saxophone, B, Santa Claus, or... Uh, no, we're not going to do that. And we're not going to do the Richard and Judy thing either, you know, when they have the big picture behind. No. I said, let us not take the audience for pinheads. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back uh, three times during the show and give £1,000 away to a, a question that will be informative. You get two goes at it. That's the thing, you get two goes at it. Informative, you get it right, you win £1,000. Tell me you can't use a grand at Christmas. The phone number to ring. Please turn your mobile phones off, we haven't started yet. Uh, 08705 <laughs> 100755. <laughs> it's not going to be Cliff, is it? 08705, although she lives in hope. 08705 100755, ring that now and we'll be talking and I'll give you a grand. Simple as that. Uh, the questions I'll be coming back later on to ask you. Dan says, Morris in Rotherham, what's the story of mistletoe? And Anna in Felix, though, says, come on, you're avoiding the big question every day. Is there a Loch Ness monster? That and more when we return, but I'll be back to give away a £1,000, and we're that far away from Sir Cliff Richard at the moment, so I'll get out the way. And the giveaways over to you, Dan. Look at that. Come on. Fantastic. Let's have a nice hand for my dad and my brother-in-law here. Look at that. Knocked it up in a weekend. One weekend! Thank you. The very definition of a smattering of applause. What's going to happen is... We didn't want to give out the pin-headed questions, very you know, exciting. like, what day is it? Is it Thursday? Is it Friday? Oh, oh well done! No, no, we didn't want to do that. I want to give you a chance, though, so I'm going to give you three uh, choices on the answer to the question I'm about to uh, give you. Somebody has rung in on 087051. 100755. 08705 100755. <laughs> Easy now. I've not done this before. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you never and, know. Uh, th and when your phone rings, you've got to pick it up and you've either got to say, it's Gabby and Terry, where we make Christmas merry, or you can say, it's Terry and Gabby, where we make Christmas happy. Or you can say, yeah, Dan, what do you want? <laughs> it's up to you. If your phone's ringing now and it's you, Claudia in Bromley, Claudia in Bromley, now she should come through on the phones, she's got to say, it's Terry and Gabby, where we make people happy. Or it's Gabby and Terry, where we make people merry. Christmas merry. Or hello? then... Oh. Ah, no, hello will... Uh, yeah, hello will do. Yes, she did it! Yes! yes. <laughs> she did it! Good hello. <laughs> hello, Claudia. Hello, Claudia. How the hell are you? <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, you know, you wait till you get to talk to Cliff later on. Pass right out. Uh, so, yes, uh, go ahead, Claudia, here we go. Go Baker? Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> people tend to say it in that, that, that kind of terms, I know. <laughs> Followed by, can you show me your whites? I don't do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I am trying... I'm desperately trying to give you a thousand pounds. Now, Claudia, I guess we could talk like this all day. Oh, yes, that's please. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> but, 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 uh, I'm going to ask you a question. Uh -huh. And you're going to get two goes at the answers, right? And, right. Then, we, and then, if it stops on a thousand pounds, you've got a thousand pounds. OK. Right, here we go. Here's the question, Claudia. Okay. Which legendary, legendary comedy god of the big screen actually died on Christmas Day? Which legendary comedy god of the big screen died on Christmas Day? Is it A, Charlie Chaplin, B, W.C. Fields, or C, 321 Ted Rogers? <laughs> it's, you get two goes at it. Charlie Chaplin, W.C. Fields, or Ted Rogers? What's your answer? Oh, Charlie Chaplin? Charlie Chaplin is the right answer! Charlie Chaplin! <laughs> If it stops on a thousand pounds, if it stops on a thousand pounds, you've got yourself a thousand pounds. If it stops on... Oh, yeah, And if you want to ring in on 08705 oh, I'll give you a grand as well. And now back to my friends. Right there. Expert. You've got ourselves a hit. Oh, happy.
Happy Christmas. Thank you. What a great way to start. Charlie Christmas. Chaplin wasn't the right answer. Yes, it is. He died on Christmas Day. He did. Give the girl another thousand pounds. <laughs> out of Terry's pocket. If you want to win one of Danny's grand... No. You just paid for a wedding as well. Uh, give us a ring now on 08705. To qualify, you've seen now how, how totally easy it is. It was good enough to distribute pizza to the needy in the audience. Uh, <laughs> he, had, he had a bit himself uh, and, and wiped his mouth with a napkin and discarded it. They was diving for the napkin. <laughs> <laughs> a woman over here has got it and this is what eBay's got to answer for, my friends. <laughs> Welcome back. The difficult second spot. Uh, earlier it was Claudia from Bromley took away a thousand pounds in the uh, one Christmas test that's trying not to insult the intelligence of its audience. I'm going to ask you a question. People have already rung in 08705 100755. They pointed out a flaw in the first part of it. It said a thousand pounds in every one of our sections. Oh, we didn't think you'd spot that. So as we go across now to somebody else who's called in, let's bring the phones up and we'll see who's there. You've got to say it's uh, Gabby and Terry making Christmas merry or yeah then what do you want? So let's hear the phone ring, and if they answer by saying, yeah, Dan, what do you want? Or if Gabby and Terry make Christmas merry, which I just invented, much to the surprise of the crew, then here we go. Let's, shh, shh, please. Gabby and Terry make Christmas merry. I bet it's hello. Gary and Terry, it's ah! Gary and Terry make Christmas merry. Yeah! 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 Go on, then. Now surprise me. Who's this, Mum? It's Grace. Grace, where are you, Grace? I'm in Sussex. <gasps> Our audience are from Sussex over here. Yeah! Which sadly disqualifies you. <laughs> you're not supposed to know anyone here. Now, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah. Uh, think about the answer, because this, this is a, it's, it's something you can use. Here it is. Here's your question, Grace, for £1,000. Uh, once, uh, New Year's Eve fell on Boxing Day. New Year's Eve fell on Boxing Day. Why was that? Is it A, something to do with spacemen and that? Two, because of a mix-up by the local council. <laughs> or three, because New Year's Day is a racehorse and it fell on Boxing Day. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. A, B or C, Grace? C. C it is! Yeah. 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 Oh, that thing. If it stops on a thousand pounds, you've got yourself a grand for Christmas, my friend. Oh! Yeah. 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 Thank you, Grace. Thank you, Please uh, listen uh, to this man's sauce. Come back again, Danny Baker. Danny Baker. <laughs> Tonight, I've, got, I've got to get there, apparently. I do apologise. Uh, sorry, Matt, thank you. This is a new thank thing you, that's given away to thousands, and I should get paid by the mile in this job. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know. Danny. Yes, this is what I usually do if you've not seen the show before. Carry on. I, 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 I will ask you and Sir Cliff at the end what you think of, uh, of uh, the modern art, but we haven't got time now. Morris from Rotherham wants to know. What is the story of mistletoe oh. and why? Uh, the, yeah, exactly. Well, here's the... Here's the if you were actually uh, literally singing that, you would be singing uh, Christmas time dung twig and wine. Because mistletoe, <laughs> mistletoe... Mistletoe is Anglo-Saxon. It uh, would fit. Mistletoe, yes. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to the remix already. <laughs> However, uh, yeah, mistletoe is uh, two Anglo-Saxon words put together. Mistle, which was dung, and twig. Because they used to believe it were, was bird dung on twigs. And that's absolutely true. Mistletoe really? is, uh, is actually from the uh, Anglo-Saxon dung. Really Please it, just, sing kind of like, oh, oh, just sing that like. Oh, just sing that. Oh yeah, give me a kiss under the dung. <laughs> Doesn't, that doesn't work. <laughs> it has a certain ring to it. It has a certain ring to it. But it's always been the tree of peace. Uh, the Romans uh, literally used to uh, arrange to meet people and put down your weapons and hold any peaceful talks or, or declare a truce underneath a mistletoe tree. Which, I know it's almost a gift and forgive you, but when I was hearing the fellow's accent earlier on, they must have had to say in Britain, if you want a peace, go to the old mistletoe tree. Which could be misinterpreted, I'm thinking, <laughs> by a lewd mind. But we've already been in the dung, we might as well go there well. As for the idea of kissing under it, there are a million different uh, folklores, but it's supposed to be from the Norse, uh, the goddess whose name was uh, Frigga. Frigga, the Norse goddess, who uh, brought her husband, who was the god of peace, uh, back to life by feeding him mistletoes. But nobody knows why you kiss under it, but it's traditionally a, a peaceful tree <coughs> from Roman times, and it means dung twig. She probably uh, mouth-fed him. No, her mm, mouth, did his... Yeah. No, kissing, exactly. Yeah, could well have been. As good as any... any oh, second <laughs> That means we're out of time on that one. Anna from Kiddisco, you've been ignoring the big question. Huh? Is there a Loch Ness monster and did Bigfoot ever exist? Apparently the answer there is no, but uh, that, that's that. Move on. Well no, done. the answer is no. <laughs> Good uh, answer. Thank way, you, Danny. First song I ever knew all the way through was I Wonder. I wonder who she's kissing. Under the dung tonight. Under yes. the dung. <laughs>
<laughs> under the dung tonight. Uh, no, there is no Loch Ness Monster, there is no Bigfoot. However, in the last three or four years, typically, uh, not just because of the last three or four years, but uh, one new species a year is discovered, and I'm not talking about some kind of bug or, or some kind of plum. How about this? Nine new monkeys in the last four years, including, the, ma including the manticore marmoset, which was found in a marketplace of someone's pet. Brand new species. A new camel was discovered in China two years ago. It has hairy knees and lives on nothing but salt water. Salt water, hairy knees, they've got no name for it yet. I suggest Callista Flockhart. Anyway, so, um, <laughs> there is... Well, salt water lives on nothing but... <laughs> it lives on salt water, that's all I mean. You can't say that. She carry on, hairy carry on. Knees. Oh, yes, she does. <laughs> OK, uh, a beaked whale turned up uh, in... How can you not spot a whale? A new beaked whale turned up in the ocean... Stop pointing at me when you say <laughs> whale. <laughs> I know, I know, and uh, believe me, after the Callista Flockhart reception, I'm not doing my Fern Britain joke. OK, so, uh, we... And four new species of piranha. Four... But, great, that's all we need, four new species of piranha. So, no, no Loch Ness Monsters, no, uh, no Bigfoot, but don't obsess about them, because new things are crawling out of the jungle, the woodwork and the mountains every single Hardening day. Hardening news. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. I haven't got to run over there now, have I? No. Oof. Join us after the break.